It was a historic moment for the riders as they sat on the line ahead of the first ever women's Paris-Roubaix and a place in history. 116.4 kilometres awaited after loops around Danan. They were taking 17 sections of pavé, totaling 29.2 kilometres in total, ranging in severity from one to five stars, including sectors such as Monzon Pavel and the Carrefour de l'Arbre before the run in to Roubaix and finishing in the iconic velodrome with a lap and a half. It was Great Britain's Lizzie Dignan of Trek Segafredo that led into the first section of cobblestones with 82 and a half kilometres to go. From Hornang to Wandigny, a sector ranging in severity of four stars. Lizzie Dignan, as she exits sector 12, was still enjoying an advantage of around two minutes. There was a chasing group behind, including teammate Audrey Cordon Rago with Mariana Voss, Majerus, Bianic Brenau, Cavalli, Bastianelli, Koch, Peters, and Norsgaard and Longa Borghini amongst the group. Norsgaard and Longa Borghini hit the deck while the cyclocross star Christine Majerus was showing her skill and technique on the cobblestones. Newly crowned world champion though, Elisa Balsamo went down on the slippery cobblestones in group three. There would be a regroupment of sorts as Turn Chibikus and Romy Casper came back into the group to help Mariana Voss, but the teammates of Dignan in Cordon Rago and Van Dijk were trying to defend the lead of the former world champion at the head of the race. Dignan, though, was riding her luck, controlling a full bike slide on the slippery, muddy cobblestones. Voss put the power down on the front while behind Ellen van Dijk went down heavily with Majerus Roy and Ode Bianique. Mariana Voss was making her move to try and get herself up to the front and write her own name in history known as the greatest of all time. Voss quickly chopped into the advantage of Dignan, who had been out in front since that 82 and a half kilometer to go point. But as she swung into the iconic velodrome and the 800 meters lay between her and making her name in history. It's long been known as the queen of the classics. It took 125 years, but finally the queen of the classics is crowned and her name is Lizzie Dignan. Mariana Voss, a gutsy move and a brave chase. It would be second place for the Yumbo Visma rider. While behind, it was Elisa Longa Borghini, the teammate of Dignan, who took the third spot on the podium. Congratulations from Mariana Voss to Lizzie Dignan. A brave and audacious attack. She writes her name into the history books. There's your top ten. Lizzie Dignan from Mariana Voss and Elisa Longo Borghini. Brenna, Bastianelli, Norsgaard, Koch, Cordon Rago, Cavalli and Vanderbrook Black. Your top ten. Lizzie Dignan lifts the famous cobblestone trophy above her head. It's second place for Mariana Voss. And Italian champion Elisa Longo Borghini takes third. The iconic Roubaix Velodrome finally crowns its queen. A great first edition. History is made.